hey guys, flashcards are one of the best ways that you can revise, but what is a good way to use them? So here are a few different ways with loads of examples, because I love flashcards, that you can use flashcards in your revision. So first of all, let's go for the quick and easy ones. Learning all of your irons. Now, for the moment, you don't need to know these for GCSE, but you will from next year onwards. And you need to know these for A-levels. So flashcards, name of the iron on one side, what the iron is on the other side and just keep testing yourself over and over again. A big one for physics now, I cannot nag you about this enough, you need to learn your units. These are all my physics flashcards for units, so what it is on one side, the unit for it on the other side, you have to have to have to learn these. And the great thing about flashcards is they're not actually that big. Um, and you don't even have to have paper flashcards, you can have electronic flashcards, you can have these on your phone, you can have them with you all the time. You can just keep them there on the sofa, just get them out during an ad break or whatever your parents are watching the news or something or you're not interested in, and just quiz yourself on them. And these are gonna be so, so useful. I mean, I cannot say enough, you need to learn your units for physics. It doesn't just have to be words that you can put on the other side of your flashcards. Here is another physics example, but this time with circuit symbols. So, we have what it is on one side and then the symbol for it on the other side. You don't have to use words, you can also use pictures on your flashcards. And it doesn't just have to be short things, it can be long things. Now, you can use this technique in combination with the exam papers, but here we have a really, really common exam question. A little bit closer. So what is the difference between a pure metal and an alloy? And I've written up here that I want six points from it. And then on the back I have my six points that will get me six marks in an exam. Now I've written this in really really quick note format. Obviously in the exam we'd want to write it in full sentences but for flashcards I think it's best to write things in short note formats. Okay guys, four ways, four great ways that you can use flashcards in your revision. For like learning perfect answers for the exams, for learning pictures, for learning symbols, and for learning the, the quick, quick recall questions, keywords, stuff that comes up over and over again. And flashcards are so, so good. You can get loads and loads of apps on your phone. Um, the one that I like to use is called Quizlet. It is really, really commonly used. So you don't even have to make your own flashcards. You can just go and find a set that another class has made and then you can just like save it to your set and just use them over and over again. Just sit there, clicking through on your phone. The other great thing about Quizlet is it has games as well. So it doesn't just have to be learning the definitions. So go and either buy yourself a set of um, flashcards. I think I have one for like 79p for 100 from Amazon or something. Or just go and get some massive bits of card and cut them up as small or as big as you want, but flashcards are a great way to revise.